Hello and welcome back to day number 81 of my road to 200 kilogram total. <clears throat> now for today, as you can notice, it is the video is quite dark. I am not skilled enough to make this brighter without it kind of looking like crap. So I'm s I highly apologize for that. Anyways, the reason why I'm working out um, before the sun is even up is because I knew that from 9, after my work onwards from 9, which is when I usually work out, I would have to accompany my mom to do some errands and then right after that I had to go get my sister's laundry in her uh, condominium unit and yeah I know to myself that I wouldn't be able to perform as well during the afternoon well aside from the fact that I also have work in the afternoon I decided instead that I would try and do it in the early morning which is and just before my uh, my morning job with my dog i did however do my jump rope at 4 30 to 5 yeah 4 30 to 5 and then i had breakfast very carb heavy breakfast followed by maybe 45 minutes before i proceeded to do this workout because it is the Burmans. it is quite cold even though i'm sweating this is actually the temperature is at during this time was actually really really good and it really let me you know push harder because I wasn't warming I wasn't getting as hot so to say but I, I did however need to take note that I did not want to wake up my neighbors so no bar drops unfortunately for me so especially with today's clean and jerk of 90 kilograms that re having to re-rack that was kind of daunting even though I had had already done a hundred kilo doubles for the jerk right so warming up even though I said that there would be no bar drops I didn't say that I wouldn't be loud still do a loud aggressive pull and receive with my feet yeah it's so dark yeah something that I think has helped me to improve a lot was that was just to have that power off the when you pop it pop the bar up oh, okay here I tried to fix the camera by getting the my bike light and shining it and I think it helped somewhat but I just needed to find a good angle to place it yeah this was not a good angle at all and it just made everything darker and my camera at this because I'm at the 0.5 times zoom I couldn't lock in the Oh, sorry about my voice by the way but I couldn't lock anyways I couldn't lock in the brightness so it just keeps auto adjusting I don't know how to fix that I probably should get a camera but my phone does not have a SD card reader I really really should buy one but times are hard right second to the last warm-up actually I what I, I am kind of used to jumping like 10 20 kilos at a time with the clean and jerk so I was supposed to go for the working set right away but I decided that I needed some practice with that re-racking so I went for 80 good pull I am however noticing that I am going I'm receiving it a bit on my toes rather than fl with flat feet and I think and I should be fixing that Oh, and by the way, something that has helped me a lot with the positioning of my jerk and the jerk strength in general is just to have that little bit of pause or how other people call owning the position of the receiving receiving position of the jerk. Right, this is my first set and it was a bit of a hard clean but still pretty good. For the jerk, it was not feel happy about how I jerked that one so against uh, against common sense well not common sense against the what they call it the what the program said this is I just went for it again and I know that I said before that you need to follow the program to a T but there are also sometimes some times when you have to just be smart and this is me being very smart because that was a much better clean and very good jerk that's the position i wanted with the jerk and done all right uh following that was the hardest part and that was swallowing my pride and knowing that i had to go down 
on the weight of the bicep curls because if what was the point if I could do 20 20 bicep curls at 30 kilos if right after I couldn't even complete my set of pull-ups that that just told me that I needed to take more time with it I needed more time to be able to get used to it uh, there's no shame in that this is my progress I'm not trying to immediately get to that get to a point where I want to be as quick as possible no I want you want that long sustainable effort long sustainable goal so here I traded in the 30 kilos for 25 and as you can see I'm still very much struggling with the pull-ups it is still early I'm not used to it I don't have as much calories in me so there's that and I only recorded one set of this because doing this for six sets was just gonna be too much and it's gonna be too long to include in the video and the same I can actually say for my loo raises because uh, I realized that if I was already doing loo raises anyway like four more times a week with with uh, five kilos instead of doing flies at ten, at 10 or 15 kilos I think that would be much better I'd be better off doing that so yeah kind of yeah this is me being smarter with my workout and I'm also focused instead of just trying to go up and wait I'm, fo I'm also focusing on the qu movement quality and that mind muscle connection with the movement and I think that is about it for today hopefully I don't have to ever repeat working out in the early morning because yeah it is a pain to edit because the lighting isn't is super it's really bad and I don't want to spend money to get uh, to get more lights because yeah it's expensive anyways that's it for today's video I hope you guys liked it see you in the next one bye